Hello, welcome here, Lorian here. Uh, this is my first dual universe video, and today I'm gonna show you how basically to get in space and set up your first space station. What you're gonna need is a space core unit. In this case, for the demonstration, I got an extra small one and some crafting materials. This thing is really tricky. First of all, getting out of atmosphere is like really hard. I mean, with the pre-built ship that is like, this is one of the pre-built ship. If I go in build mode, this is how it looks like in its current state. It didn't come with that. If I press H on it, you see, I've installed an atmospheric engine medium. That's what M stands for. Originally, this one comes equipped with three small engines on each wings. But that wasn't getting me really high. And even with those two smalls, like a medium one equals like six times smalls one. So like I basically... Ooh quadrupled my power capacity in atmosphere engine. Those engines are for space. Space engines, yes. Small for a ship that size, that's okay. The reason I've boosted the atmosphere engine is because I want to get as high as I can before I use this little puppy here, which is a rocket engine. Rocket engine, like will give you a shit ton of power. That's also an addition I did. It didn't came with that. And that's why I've got that big tank lying on top of the ship, which didn't came with it. And that provides the fuel to the rocket engine. So if you can see rocket fuel tank, extra small. Not really that extra small, but uh, you know. The idea is when I get like high enough and I start to lose motion, I'm just gonna kick in the rocket engine and it's gonna give me like the boost I need to break into orbit and escape gravity. Without that, it's impossible. As far as I know, from now like maybe different ship design works differently and also I am on a planet that has the equivalent of 1g gravity that's or hertz gravity so that's the whole thing about it so without further ado I'm gonna get into the ship and show you how hard it can be to deploy a space car unit oh yeah before you go to space, never forget to check your fuel levels. In my case, I know they're all full, but you just default key is six. Just make sure like your atmospheric tanks are full. Behind my rocket engine, I get like my space tank full. It's just missing one unit. Nothing dramatic. We won't be using much space fuel. It just we're just going into orbit. All right. I'm in the ship, and I already got a space station, Mandel Motor Orbital. I'm gonna set as a destination. Oops. All right, <laughs> that didn't start well. I'm gonna fix that. Don't worry if that kind of thing happens to you. My ship was drifting while I was looking at the map, but no biggie, like it wasn't going fast, didn't get damaged, and like there's that tool 7, that's the manipulate tool, see, easily fixed. Alright. 
let's go near my actual spare station. Boosted my power to 100. I don't know why the HUD is like so blurry right now. It's usually more clear than that. Ah, uh, must be the motion blur up, motion blur option thing I've set up. Yeah, I should turn that shit off. I don't like that. Yeah, I remember it just before I started this video. I put every graphical options on, and like I guess like that motion blur that might be something you wanna. Let's see while I space travel if I can turn it off. Yeah, it doesn't seem to require a restart. Well, but doesn't seem like it was it. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, never mind. I won't bother with it right now. As you can see up here, I got my altitude meter. Well, it's also there, but given how blurry it is, like we're gonna rely on this HUD. As see as high, as much as high the higher I go, that's what I mean. I'm losing speed here. And if you're American, like there's no miles per hour in this game, it's all kilometers, so you'll have to get used to kilometers per hour. As soon as I'm gonna reach near just a little over 4,000, I'm going to have to kick in the rocket engine to escape gravity. Like I'm losing too much speed right now. Like you're going to you're gonna notice that my meters of altitude are starting to slowly die out. Uh, Alright, kicking it in. You press B for that, default key. And as you can see, my speed now is cranking up like crazy, but this thing is burning fuel like your mama loves to suck your car. Now I've cut it out. I'm probably like just in person fuel lift now, like just for getting that boost. That's how fast you empty out that thing. And if you press insert, you can see your ship from outside. Not out of past the 4,500 kilometers of height. I have kicked in my space engines. Those makes me move faster. But now, cutting down engines. Braking, you press control for braking. Because this game is a lot about the motion physics. But right now, I want to slow down. Because as you can see, I am about to pass my, base, my space station if I don't change my angle. So I need to slow down. Restart my engine and start going in a new direction. But as soon as as I nearly stop, because with motion, I'm going nowhere. I'm just gonna make a curve, so that's why I'm stopping. Like you see, I'm starting to lose altitude because I'm still under influence gravity. I can start kicking in the engine now, I guess. Release the brake. Yep, starting to gain some speed. 
I don't know if it's the same distance from the ground on every planet, but as soon as you stop seeing that little number here, the 22.9 kilometers, the altitude, that's when you're allowed to place a space core and start working on your space station. But there's a trick thing to it, a really tricky thing. gonna show you as soon as we reach that. there I'm gonna try to go like just beside it so I can show you how to deploy a space car you're gonna see this is no small feat at least in low atmosphere I mean, like, maybe in deep space there's no issue there, but for what I'm trying to demonstrate here, it's hard. Breaking again. That's my space station. Gonna pass by it. Doesn't matter. Just need to break. Kick in the engine. Still hasn't got out of the planet's influence. I guess they changed it with this patch because it disappeared when I placed this space core. As you can see, gotta fight gravity. Even though I'm 55 kilometers up. So as you can see, it's a struggle. I could land on my space station, makes things easier. But I just want to show you, like, if you don't have a space station, how you can struggle. Gonna turn around. See, I'm falling. I'm falling, man. Using space brakes, please. Uh, space brakes won't keep me from falling. Ah, I hate that. I should rebind to the keyboard. But if I use space brake, like, I manage to somewhat stay stationary. Like I can put speed now. Like, I'm gonna slowly move with 50% because, like, the ship is struggling with gravity anyway. Uh, I'm going there. 
So one trick, one trick, I don't know if it's considered an exploit. Just break. Escape. Ah. Sorry about that. I pressed the wrong key. I gotta restart this shit. Alright, break. Escape. Log out. Yes. Because there is a safety in this game. Relogging. So you see, with the safety, my ship suddenly froze and it's not being influenced by gravity. That's how you're gonna be able to safely place your core unit in space. As you can see, oh, that's one thing, you have to be inside the grid. That, that grid is your build zone with the core unit. So if you're not inside it, you can't place it. And make it close, because that's not exactly where I want. I just I just wanted to show you that trick to make your life easier. Space construct, deploy, yep. And now it auto puts me in build mode. That's why I still see a grid. And I'm under the gravity's influence of that space core can leave my ship, no issues whatsoever at all. Just like that. But now I'm gonna take it back. I just wanted to show you that neat trick. Let's get to my actual space station. I'm driving with my space brake on to do some like very close maneuver. I just want to get above the platform. I guess I'm blocked by the station itself or something. Or maybe not. There it is. It's just that hard to land on a space station. All right, let's get out here. Woo, that was a close call. But that's my, well, in progress space station. This one is bigger, it's a medium core size. 
and it's going to be a shipyard too. As you can see, I get way much more space to build inside it. One important thing when building a space station you might want to consider is installing this little pop here, a resurrection node. In case like you die in space and your ship is stranded there, like you can respawn here. You're gonna lose whatever you had in your inventory, but at least like you have a means to go back here. So this is like just like very 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 new for us a project what it's gonna be like is a shoe horse type shape space station where like in the middle here it's gonna be like no empty space where I can build smaller ships uh, my company my org, they're called organization, is Mendel Mortars from Star Wars. I am associated with some other orgs that are also fans of Star Wars, Corellian Engineering Corporation, Kuwat Drive Yards, and we made that Galactic Assessment Board, which is like a conglomerate of all those companies. And we're gonna work together to try and reproduce some Star Wars ships. And that's what I'm gonna show you right now. Like, how much freedom you have to build. Because this is pretty much like Minecraft plus plus plus. I. You're gonna say, oh, those are cubes, but there's not just cubes. Now, I just want to complete the platform. I want to have my corner. Each of those thick lines is one meter, so I want to go. Oh. Mm hmm. That one. Okay, let me check at the other corner. Okay, this is a full meter there. Okay. Interesting. So I have three quarters of a meter here. All right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But to be exactly ten, there. Now I'm gonna go like boop, 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 boop. So you might be wondering what I'm doing. Bear with me. You're gonna see. Now we're gonna make this a slope corner. Uh, not slope, but I mean like uh, with an angle. Just hold R and you can rotate it.
to change your shape. I want to go back to cube in this case. I don't know why, but the I guess it's not to stress the server, but you have to go in batch like that when you build. sections like that. Ah, not like that. I mean, yeah. Like that. But then I'll, because I chose to have an angle, always will have to struggle with the small section there. That's the horseshoe's design for you. And that's it. Get my little corner finished here. And still have 100 meters cube left of gray still pattern. Right, right now, unfortunately, it's night time. Cannot really show you what it really looks like under light. But oop. careful! And that's the nice view I have from my space station. So that was it for Space Station. As you can see, it's going to take me a while to complete it. So I'm not going to bother you with the whole video. Like the whole goal of this video was to show you how you can reach orbit, place your space core, with that nice little trick I showed you by disconnecting and enjoy your first Space Station. Like safe flying. Later.